The start-stop system can help increase fuel economy by turning the engine off temporarily when the vehicle is stopped. The start-stop system is activated when the ignition is turned on. The system can be turned off and on again manually by using the pull-down menu and toggling the system on or off. Certain requirements must be met for the system to operate. The driver's door and the hood must be closed. The driver's seatbelt must be fastened. The transmission must be in park, neutral, or drive. The steering wheel must not be turned. And a trailer must not be hitched to the vehicle. With all criteria satisfied, the system will operate as designed. When stopping, press and hold the brake pedal. The start-stop indicator light appears in the instrument cluster once the engine has shut off. When the driver's foot is lifted from the brake, or if the steering wheel is turned, the engine will restart. If the start-stop system has turned off the engine and the driver unfastens the seatbelt and opens the driver door, the engine will remain off and the electronic parking brake will engage. If the driver's door is then closed and the safety belt refastened within 30 seconds, the start-stop system will be enabled. When D is selected and the accelerator is depressed, the parking brake will release and the engine will restart. Various conditions can affect whether the system activates, such as exterior temperature, interior temperature, inclines, elevation, engine temperature, and battery charge, for example. If conditions do not allow the system to activate and the engine remains running, the indicator will have a diagonal line through it. Multiple short stops may result in temporary deactivation until the system is ready again.